who's here? Steve Pink. I've heard about that guy. The Steve Pink Wind-Up Show. Hello? Hello there. Mrs. Randolph, please. Speaking. It's Ian Taylor from Environmental Health, Mrs. Randolph. Yes. Bit of a touchy subject. We've had a letter this morning from one of your neighbours. Oh, yes. About noise you've been making. Well, I've been making? Yes, you're making a lot of noise, apparently. There's only two of us. Do you play the television loud in the evening or loud music? Well, not normally, unless it was switched on once, perhaps, and then it was turned down, perhaps, at the weekend when the Grand Prix, when my son came home. Who was the neighbour? Well, I'd, I'd obviously not rather not say at this stage, because I like to get both sides of the story, you know, before we... Uh, before yeah, we come but... Yes. Um, I mean, do you get on very well with your neighbours, if you don't mind me asking? Well, I mean, I don't... Uh, there's only one neighbour in front of me. Well, you've had, a, you've had a, a bit of a run-in with them over the years, have you? Well, I mean, obviously... No! Yes. We're uh, very friendly with the neighbour in front. The neighbours at the side of me, which are council, the environment giving me a, a saying that we've caused a lot of noise. And, uh, and you, uh, hello? Hello? Who, who's hello? this? Yes, hello there. Uh, who are you? Is, yes, you would be? My name is Randolph. Uh, is that your first name? It's my surname. Who, who are you calling? So you're... Uh, who so, are you calling? Will you stop shouting at me? I'm trying to sort this out for you. Why are you ringing this number? Well, if you shut your face, I'll tell you. I've had a letter from uh, one of your neighbours complaining about noise. And who was that, may I ask? Well, I, you know, obviously I don't want to get out those details over the phone. I'd rather get your side of the story before we come down. So, um, do you play the television very loud in the no, evening? No, we do not. What about loud music, Grandma? No, we do not. Is your hearing starting to go? Is that why you... No, it doesn't. Well, your wife said that you were. You know, she said that when the Grand Prix was on, you had it very, very loud. That that was a fortnight ago. Yes, well... well when, when was this complaint made? About a fortnight ago. And what were they complaining about? Well, the fact that the TV was extremely loud and very irritating. There is nobody anywhere near us, so I don't see how anyone could hear us. So, do you have very loud parties in the evening? No, we do it? not, for goodness sake. I'm, I'm sorry? No, we do not. Well, what do you do? do you, I mean, do, you know, do you have a lot of friends round? Oh, no, look, I am getting sick and tired of this. Well, I'm getting rather sick and tired of you, you know, with your attitude on the phone. I'm trying to be pleasant, and you've done nothing but shout Pleasant? You're asking insinuating questions. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Since I got on the phone, you've not stopped shouting at me. Now, when you've had a few, Grandad, you get very loud. Look, I am sick and tired of this. If you want to come and talk to me, come and talk to me. I'm not going to discuss any more well, on the well, telephone. I'm trying to sort it out with you now. I mean, you know, what do you put it down to? The fact uh, that you're a bit daft and stupid? and getting old. Listen, any more insulting remarks from you? Who's, who's your superior? I'm sorry? Who is your superior? Well, I don't want you to speak to him. You'll get me into I all sorts of trouble. I will speak to him. Oh, you'll get me into all sorts of trouble if you do that. That is exactly my intention. I'm not going to put up with your insulting remarks any longer. Well, I'm trying to sort it out for you, and... Uh, and You're you... not doing a very good job. Well, I've had training on the phone, you know, how to deal with people. What is your name again? My name is Mr. Ian Taylor. Taylor? But you can just call me Sir, And obviously. where are you? Right. Where are you? Uh, Chessington. Sorry. And what is your appointment? I'm sorry? What is your appointment? Which, what do you mean, dental appointment? I've, I've, got, one of those, I've got one of those this afternoon. Got to go and see about, <laughs> go and see about my tooth at the back. <laughs> are you still there? Uh, hello? Hello, Mr Randolph. Mr Randolph Randolph. Should we call him back? Hang on a moment, let's call Mr Randolph back. Hello? Randolph, is that you? This is Wing Commander Randolph. Wing Commander Randolph. Yes, uh, you wanted details of my superior? Yes. It's Bevan Watts. For goodness sake. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't catch your first name again. What you was bloody it? did. <laughs> it says here, could you please give them a call and wind them up? They've got a great sense of humour, but they deserve to be wound up soon. <laughs> I'll wring his neck when I see him. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is Steve Pank. What should we call you, Peter? Should we call you Wing Commander? If you must. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, Peter, thanks for being a great sport. <laughs> right. well, I love you, man. <laughs> Steve Pink. The Steve Pink Wind-Up Show.